Okay, here's an example of something you might see in your homework. Given the graph, and here's a polynomial, right? It's a polynomial of degree 2. Given the graph, solve the following inequalities. You want your polynomial to be less than 0. When you're looking at a graph, less than 0 corresponds to under the x-axis. Do you see any of the red underneath the x-axis down here? No, so guess what your answer is? It's the empty set or you just say none, never. Does not happen. So it's the empty set. The second one, letter B. When is the polynomial greater than 0? Greater than 0 corresponds to above the x-axis. Not on it, just above it. So do you see that it's above it here and here? On my number line, it's on it here at one-fifth, right? We do not want that piece that's open. We don't want it on. We just want where it's above. It's above this way and this way. How do we say that in interval notation? So one-fifth with a parenthesis, union, one-fifth to infinity. Remember that you use the parentheses to exclude the one-fifth value. Okay, the third piece. Where is it less than or equal to zero? So where is it under the x-axis? or on the x-axis, right? Because equal to means on the x-axis. Where was it on the x-axis? At one-fifth? Where was it under? It wasn't. So what's your answer to that question? It's just at the value one-fifth. And in Connect Math, you want to put that in as, in your braces, and then just the number one-fifth. Okay, the last one, where is it greater than or equal to zero? What does that mean? Greater than zero meant above the x-axis. Greater than or equal to so above or on, correct? <coughs> One fifth was where it was on the x-axis, so you want to include that. Where was it above? This way and that way? So what's your answer to D? All real numbers.